It's Friday, May 22nd. It's Memorial Day weekend. I want to give you a quick up garden update. Here are our peppers. And it uh, looks like a squash plant that's just sprouted there. Uh, these are hardening off and getting ready to go outside. Uh, permanently, that is. Here is our lavender plant. Take a detour before we go to the garden here. One of our newer bushes. Another one that Stephanie planted recently. I forget what that is. Here's one of the nine barks Stephanie planted. Looking good. Another nine bark. Looking great. Dogwood's filling in slowly. Looking fine. This dogwood, again, not so much. Several to air conditioner noise. And then this is our service berry, and it's also growing very well. Okay, now heading over to the garden beds. Let's see, we've got some dandelions. Yeah, what are you gonna do? No trellises yet, but we'll get those up soon. Here we have a cucumber and that is surrounded by some radishes, arugula. This is one of our uh, cherry tomatoes. I think this is uh, sun sugar. Could be wrong about that. Uh, Harmony cucumber here, surrounded by more radishes. Black seeded Simpson lettuce. Notice how like the leaves are very yellow. That's distinctive of the black seeded Simpson. Chard, carrots, Pak choy. I love how well this is growing. It grows really quickly. Uh, these are our boro beets, the red beets. Growing slow, but they're coming. Oregano here. Kale. More boro beets in this cell. This is our buttercrunch lettuce. And then the boldor beets. These are the orange flesh beets. Romaine lettuce, you can kind of see if you look close that the leaves are elongating, which is distinctive of romaine. Then here are some scallions. Over here we've got our green beans. Uh, it doesn't look like anything's really coming up yet. Spinach, we'll probably harvest that, some of that this weekend. Uh, we have to replace that with a squash plant soon anyway. Here's our sun gold cherry tomato. Looking really good. There's flowers on it. More boldor beets here, the orange flesh beet. Carrots, butter lettuce, kale. You can see down there. It's kind of getting shaded out by the uh, tomato plant. More scallions, more boldor beets, more boldor beets, I might say that every time. Here's some of our purple Vienna kohlrabi. Romaine lettuce, more of the same kohlrabi, scallions, and then our chives. This is their second year, they're looking really great. Over here in the big bed, we got some butter lettuce growing on this edge. There's some marigolds coming up along the short side. Pak choy. Black seeded Simpson lettuce, chard. Uh, this is our Roma tomato. Uh, I forget what kind of lettuce this is. Looks like romaine to me. This is definitely romaine though, so this must be something else. Uh, there's some arugula and a Brussels sprout plant in the middle. That'll get really big, so give it a lot of space. More butter lettuce. Uh, ignore where it says carrots, that's not true. That's just a, I re reuse the little signs. Um, radishes here, and then our peas, which are grabbing our protective chicken wire. So this weekend we'll have to remove the wire and put our little uh, tent up for those to climb on. More pak choy here, more radishes over there, which don't look like they're doing great. I don't know, don't know why. Butter lettuce, Simpson lettuce, another Simpson some marigolds on the end, and a couple charred plants here. And that is our 
Brandywine tomato. And here are our raspberry canes. Something's digging in there, but they're not really interfering. This is a boin. This one that tipped over a couple times when it was first planted, so it's not growing very well. Might have to replace that, I'm not sure. It's a latham. Boin again, looking really good. This latham was showing signs of life, but isn't so much anymore, so yeah, I'm kind of worried about that. Another boin. And then a latham, which is doing just fine, as you can see. Okay. That is the whole garden setup here on uh, Memorial Day weekend. Uh, things are going well. Things could be a little bit better, but that's always the case. Can't complain. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great Memorial Day, and stay safe.